Welcome to You Can Do It. Today we've got a VW T5 uh, transporter and we're going to take the bumper off. I wasn't going to make a video for this because there's plenty of videos on the internet. But um, after I started to do this I just realised that most of the videos on the internet, one have either got horrible music or two or both, don't tell you exactly what you're supposed to do. It's just all someone just running around doing stuff but you can't actually see what's going on. So this is a really quick and pre precise um, video on how to get off the front bumper of a VW T5. First things first, there's various different bumpers depending on whether you've got the, the standard uh, grey one which is a, a plastic one which is this is that's been sprayed very badly and it's all peeling off so we need to do something about that but that's um, a secondary issue or you've got one of the colour coded one that comes and then the colour coded ones has a slightly different format so bear with me and we'll go through them all uh, now so first things first let's get to the chase we'll take the, the bonnet up another thing that's annoying is that they keep these other videos go from like top to bottom to size and all over the place I'm just going to do a top down approach so we're going to start from the top and work our way down and then back round to the wheel arches so you can see all the bolts so the first thing you need to take off uh, are the ones that are here these are little plastic uh, little plastic sort of um, T uh, you just need like a flat screwdriver to take those off and pull them out. Now they aren't in, in I'm, I'm put, I need to get some new ones from the dealer so um, excuse me but I can't show you taking them off but they're very simple and easy. So next thing, this thing here has got a, usually got a 10mm bolt in here which I've got that's in there loosely which you need a 10mm socket to take this out. Yeah let me do that. But I'm very rusty but I've got it out so you take that 10mm out there right, which then means that you can take this off right, so it comes off there look and that actually pulls out of a little rubber grommet down there and that can just hang I'll just, I'll just put that there okay so then that allows you to get to get to this this screw here which was behind behind obviously on, of, of that so you take that one out and we need to do the other one on the other side but the, the one on this side down by the battery actually if you look down there it's in that hole there just where my thumb is there look it's in that big hole there so you need a long a long um, extension to get through and to um, undo that one. Okay, so this is T25 on a, on, a, on a sort of six inch extension and luckily good old VW have left you a spot here so that you can see down there look to get this extension in. Um, so there's, there's a little slot down there that you can actually see to make that easier. Okay so I'll undo that. Let's put it up there. Now we've got those two bolts out. Well, we've got there. If you just gently need two hands on this, but if you pull out and up, then this this comes off. You can see where those those brackets clip into there, and those two clips on the side there clip into those two holes there. So you just got to gently gently pull that out. Okay, just so so she's loose there. Look, and she's loose there. So bear in mind we're working from the top down. Okay, this is where. So now you've got to take off these side trims here. Now, people, I've just seen loads of people say, oh, I'll just rip them off, but it's bloody zero degrees where I am right now. And if you do that, you're going to snap all your plastic catches. But also, if it's been sprayed or anything, you're going to completely damage it. It's all going to be uh, messed up here. So what I've done is I've got a trusty, like, very smooth tire lever with no sharp edges on it. And I put it under there gently, and you leave it like that, just gently. No, just gently like that, look. And then you get that off and you'll see you've got a clip. This is the sort of stuff you need to know. There's a clip there, clip there, clip there, clip there. So when you put your, put your lever in, you can put it in there and just gently lift and that bit pops out. And it'll be a gradual, this bit will come out a little bit and then you do that one and it'll come out a bit more. But don't rip it like people try and tell you because believe me, you'll snap them, snap the lugs off and you'll probably damage your, your paintwork and your bodywork. So then that one comes off. You've done that on this side. Obviously, you need to do it on the other side. The bolt we're looking for is down here. Look, I've already taken it out, but it's this one here. So that's actually these ones are for, for your lights, and there's something else there. But that one there, it's the bottom one there. You need to undo. So that's in that edge there. So you undo that on both sides. Now, the next thing is, we've got this bracket here. So to, we've got to undo this one here. Now, normally, this has got. Um, you might be able to access it from here with a flexi and everything like that um, but if you can't then you need to take this panel out now this is where the, the, some of these bumpers differ this is an old a traditional grey one that's then been resprayed 
and you can't get through to it because of these fins. But some of the other ones on the multivans and the caravels, this is all a bit more open and they've got two little round holes here. And through those holes, you can get directly to that um, curing um, bolt. But um, I'm gonna have to take this out. Now again, you know, people say, oh, I'll just rip it here. Don't, because you just smash everything up. So again, you need to get your lever, put it in like that and pull it. So I've done a lot, you have to do a little bit at a time. So I've gone in there, there, oh, and then that whole thing, that whole thing will come off. All right, you can see that bolt that we need to get to there. And of course, it's exactly the same one on the other side. So you just have to do both sides and we'll take that's that off. T30, that's the T30 you need in there, so let's take that out. Okay, so now we're working our way down. We've got three, I think three or four uh, bolt uh, straps that hold this bumper down from underneath. So we need to get underneath here and then we'll come round and we'll do the, the two sets on either side of the thing. So we're under here. Look, we've got a bracket, got a strap that there, but in order to get to the end of it, we need to get rid of our, there's another one, another one here. But in order to get to the end of it, we need to actually drop this under tray. So first things first, we'll just uh, quickly drop the under tray. I've actually I've done it on some of them, but yeah. There you are. Beauty of the impact driver. So I've undone most of those, and then you can actually you don't need to you don't need to undo all of the uh, on this under tray. You just need to do the ones at the front and the second set, so that the the back two you can leave, and then you should just be able to like pull that down. Up. There we are. Right, so now you can see your straps that you've got here. Yep, they go onto this one here. You've got one there. You've got one here, look. And one down the other. So you've got three straps. So let me just get on and, un and take those. Um, okay, they're all off now. That's loose. So the next one while we're under here, we've got this. Uh, this all belongs to the wheel arch liner. So we need to take these off. There's three here. One, two, Three, so just take those out. I've already partly done them, so that leaves that loose. Obviously, the same on the other side. So now let's go to the wheel arch. Okay, turn, get you start the thing up, get turn, turn your wheel so you're in. Then you've got a, a bolt there which I've already taken out, a little star bit. Uh, one here. Now, you, you don't actually need to do another one, but there's one here, and I like to do that one as well. It gives you a little bit more room. So then this, if you get this down, this lining, look, and the lining all comes down like that, look. So, let me get the torch. The lining back in, you'll see up there, look, there's two, two 10 mil nuts which we need to take off on both sides. So right now the, the bumper is just held on by those two on each side. So once I undo those two, she should be good to go. So let's get on and do that. Okay, the best way I find is with a long, you can get a long extension in there. Now there is one more, which I will have. To, I'll, undo, I'll take one of these. I'll loosen one of these ones here, and then there's a there's a, bo a little bowl that goes between these two. You just need to take. That's just under there. So I'll just undo that. That's just a torque head screw. So I'll undo that, and that's what just allows you to be able to get that tight and then nipped up nicely. So undo those two first, and then do the two that are here. Look. When you get there, the sort of nuts they are. So they're that sort of nut. So you get two of those. Okay, I've only just done one side, look. And you can see, look, the bumper's now ready to come off. So I'm gonna go around and do the other side. And uh, that's it. So let me just do that and then I'll take the bumper right okay, off. Okay, so she comes off. It'll come off this side. Uh, right. This side, you've got to be careful because you've got your cables. The cable for the, this light actually clips onto the into the here so uh, we just need to unclip that and we can get the bumper off. clips along here on the bumper then comes up here to a socket and you can just disconnect it here so if you want to take the bumper off completely I mean I'm just changing the lights that's why I'm doing this bumper let's see do that there we are so yeah You've done it. You've got your bumper off. So I hope that's a lot of a, a lot quicker and easier explanation of how to do it.